Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today is a very important and historic day, July 29, 2015, the date in which Microsoft has released Windows 10 for free for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Windows 8.1 users. So it's a very exciting day. Now it's released to the public so we can download and install it on our computers. And in this tutorial, I will be showing the most efficient way of upgrading your computer to Windows 10 or to use a DVD or USB device to install Windows 10 on another computer. So it's very simple. I'm going to put the link in the description. This leads to an official Microsoft web page here. Before you begin, it just gives you a couple tips. Definitely recommends you have a blank USB or DVD with at least 4 gigabytes of space. Remember, we're downloading the entire operating system onto our removable media device so it's important it has plenty of space uh, you also want to read the system requirements so I would highly recommend reading that as well because it might determine if you're even eligible to run Windows 10 and if you're installing the operating system for the first time you'll need your Windows product key again visit the facts and questions page and now at the bottom what we've all been waiting for we see a 32-bit and a 64-bit version download options here. Now it's important to select the correct one for whichever computer you're installing Windows 10 onto. So if you're doing an upgrade over let's say our existing computer here we can just go on the start button and right click on computer and go down to properties and it'll tell us that we are using a 32-bit operating system right now under system type and most people will be running a 64-bit operating system if your computer has been manufactured over the last I would say six or seven years. However, we're in a virtual machine, so most virtual machines are 32-bit. But we're just going to do 32-bit because that's where we are currently on right now. And we see we have a media creation tool. That is the name of what we are downloading. And we could either save it to the desktop or we could just run it right now. And since it's not that big, I'm just going to click on Run. If you get a user account control pop-up, select yes. Now it just takes a moment for the installer to initiate, so just be patient. When I ran this a couple minutes ago just to try it out, it did take about 30 to 45 seconds to load. And here we go, we get Windows 10 set up. What do you want to do? Do we want to upgrade this PC now, or do we want to create an installation media for another PC? If you want to upgrade this PC now, I will have a link in the description of this video for that because this is pretty much going to follow the same process as another video I made two days ago upgrading to Windows 10. But just for this video, we're going to create an installation media for another PC. We're going to click on Next. So under Language, you want to select the right language here, Edition. Now it's very important, you want to make the right edition for what you're eligible to have. Now it is important that you select the right edition. The general rule of thumb is if you're running Windows 7 Home Premium or Windows 8 or Basic, you're going to upgrade to Windows 10 Home. If you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8 Professional or Windows 7 Ultimate Edition, you're going to upgrade to the Pro version. Now I will put a link in the, in the description for the specific crosswalks of upgrading to Windows 10, so that should help everybody out a little bit. And again, the architecture, we want to make sure we select either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on what we are installing, depending on the hardware capabilities. But just a better rule of thumb is just to go under System Properties and just see what version of Windows you're running. So we're going to select 32-bit. We're going to click on Next. This is where we're going to create our USB flash drive installation or we are going to create our DVD installation files. We're not going to really go much further than this, you just follow the on-screen instructions and that will pretty much walk you through how to create your Windows 10 media setup. So I hope this video helped you out guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye.